In the beginning of the movie, a girl is being chased by goons, she runs away to avoid them. But another goon comes in front, now the girl is caught between two goons, she jumps down to avoid the goons. But the goons catch her before she can jump, the girl thinks that the goons want to rob her so she gives her purse to the goons, suddenly the girl sees a policeman. and runs towards him and tells the policeman to save her from the goons, but the man is an accomplice of the goons wearing police uniform. The goon punches the girl hard and the girl falls down. They beat the girl. There is no one to save the girl. The three of them continue to beat the girl. Finally, the girl faints. When Yoko regains consciousness, she finds herself in a large room. When Yoko regains consciousness, she finds herself in a large room. Her hands and feet are chained together, the chain is attached to a wheel, the chain pulls up when the wheel moves. The chain is the lights come on and the professor walks in with two guards. Yoko's face is deep into a tub of water, causing her to suffocate. Then Yoko's is pulled out. The professor tells Yoko that she will be asked questions and if she gets the answer wrong, she will be put in water. Yoko has 5 seconds to answer. The professor asks the question, but Yoko does not give answer, and time runs out, punishing Yoko by being submerged in water again. She is then pulled out, this time by the professor again explaining to Yoko that the more times she gets the wrong answer, the more times she will be put in the water. The professor asks the question again, time running out, but Yoko is unable to answer, causing her to be thrown into the water again. Yuko is repeatedly dunk in water, but unable to answer any questions. Then the voice of the gang leader comes over the speaker, she orders the guards to put lots of ice in the water, the guards put ice in the water. It cools the water. Yuko is watching all this. The professor asks the question again, this time Yuko dares to answer correctly. If she answers correctly she is not thrown into the water. The professor then asks the second question, Yuko also answers it correctly, the professor is also happy with the correct answer and encourages Yuko.
he tells Yuko that now the last question will be asked. Then the professor asks a question and Yuko answers the last question correctly. The professor is overjoyed and orders the guards to unchain Yuko. The guards unchain Yuko, grab her, and try to force Yuko to undress, but Yuko pushes the guards away and undresses herself. They lay her upside down on the ground and use a hot stamp pad to print the number 55 on Yuko's shoulder, the heat of the stamp causing Yuko great pain. Now Yuko becomes his student number 55. Yuko's hands are handcuffed, the lady guard takes Yuko to a prison-like room. In which three other girls are already imprisoned, the three girls look at Yuko, the lady guard leaves Yuko there and goes back. As he leaves, Yuko talks to the three girls and asks them about the gang. Yuka comes near to Yuko and tells her that don't discuss things like that because there's a camera here, and they're watching all of us, then she points to the camera. The other girl Yuzi tells Yuko that we've all been kidnapped and brought here like you. The three of them talk with each other, Yuko sits on her bed, Yuka and Yuzi sit next to her. Yuzi tells Yuko about the gang's terms and law, how these people are so cruel and how they treat girls. Then Yuka extends a hand of friendship to Yuko and Yuzi introduces herself as well. The third girl UV is less talkative, she sits quietly apart from the tree, Yuko asks her name and approaches her with a hand of friendship. Meanwhile, the voice of the gang leader suddenly comes over the speaker. She orders the girls to line up. The three girls quickly stand up with their hands on their heads. Yuko looks at them all in surprise, then two guards. And a lady guard comes in. The guards start searching the girls' beds. They check each girl's bait thoroughly. Then they come to the girls. First a guard searches UV and a guard searches UZ. The lady guard stands watching over the four of them. The guards undress the girls to search. After UZ and UV are searched, they begin to search Yoko and Yuka. They undress them and do a full body search. Nothing is recovered from Yuko, but the guard searching Yuka finds a paper clip on Yuka's legs. The guard brings the paper clip to the camera and shows it to his leader. Yuka tries to explain it to him that it's a small clip. What harm could it do? But the guards still take Yuka away on orders from the gang leader. Yuko asks her friends where they took Yuka and what they are going to do with her. 
Yuzi tells her that they will take Yuka to a class where she will be asked questions, if Yuka answers correctly. Otherwise she will be punished. Yuka is brought in a classroom, the professor tells Yuka that she has violated discipline and will be punished. If you want to avoid punishment, answer the question written on the board correctly. Yuka does not answer the question written on the board, causing her to be whipped upside down on the desk, then straightened up. The professor writes another question on the board and then tells Yuka to answer, Yuka does not even answer the question. Which causes her to be turned upside down and weep again, Yuka is in agony. The professor writes a third question on the board and tells Yuka to answer, Yuka doesn't even answer the question, this time Yuko's panties are removed and she is whipped. After not answering the three questions, the professor hands Yuka over to the guards and leaves. The guards are always looking for an opportunity to rape a girl, and when the professor tells the guards to rape Yuka, the two guards are overjoyed, and they forcefully rape Yuka. Yuko and Yuzi are talking to each other. Yuzi tells Yuko about the conditions of this prison. Yuzi tells Yuko all the details of what has been happening to them in this prison. Yuko is shocked and worried. Overhearing all of this, Yuzi later talks Yuko to sleep. The two lie down on their bed to sleep. Then the lights are turned off. After a while, Yuko arrives and lies down on her bed too. But because of the punishment she received, she continues to cry her sobs echoing throughout the room. In the morning, Yuko is taken to a doctor for a checkup. The guards grab Yuko and begin to undress her, but Yuko pushes the guards away and undresses herself, then the doctor checks her up. Meanwhile, the leader of the gang, who used to be a policewoman, arrives. Yuko recognizes her. The gang leader interrogates Yuko and then reads case study of Yuko. She then leaves with a warning to Yuko and hands the paper with the case study to the guard. The guard reads a written warrant for a special search in Yuko's case. He signals to another guard. The other guard grabs Yuko and puts her on the bed. As they are about to do it, the guard tells Yuko that they will now have a special search and takes a camera and puts it into Yuko's private part, which hurts Yuko. Yuko screams, but her mouth is covered with cloth. Yuko is then brought to the class where the three girls are already present. Yuko is introduced to the class and then tied to a desk. A guard in the class is giving his special kind of education to the girls. The guard writes a text on the board and then looks at the girls. Among the four girls he tells Yuzi to read the text. Yuzi nervously reads the text but it is misread causing she is punished by being turned upside down on the desk and flogged.
the girls have to massage a customer, they all apply lotion to their hands for the massage. Yuko also applies lotion while watching them. The customer sits up and talks to Yuko. He asks Yuko, that is she knew. Yuko tells her yes, customer likes Yuko. Actually that customer is a buyer of girls. Different buyers come to buy girls when the girls are big and this is one of them. At night all the girls are lined up, now there will be a draw. The girl who won the draw will get a good dinner and nothing else will be done, then the draw will be made and the number of UV wins. The guard takes UV and makes her sit in a room and she is served good food. UV relishes it with great pleasure. And here Yuko is picked up. The guards ask her to sit on a chair, but Yuko asks them about the chair. The chair is made with a special technique, made of iron bars and chains that cause the agonizing death of the sitter. Iron bands are worn. And those bands are attached to chains, and the chains are attached to special wheels. Yuko is placed in this chair, Now the professor asks Yuzu and Yuka questions. If the answer is wrong, the bandages tighten and Yuko starts suffocating. The professor then questions again. And again answer is wrong and again Yuko is suffocating. The professor asks another question. This time, the answer is correct. The second question is also correct, then the third question is wrong, causing Yuko to suffer again. Now the professor says that this is the last question. If the answer is wrong, your friend will die, then he asks the question. The timer starts, both the girls start thinking, the time runs out but suddenly Yuzi is right. Succeeds in answering, which frees Yoko, she falls off the chair, Yoko looks up at the lady guard and then faints. Yuko is sitting on her bed set, she thinks about something. Yuko and Yuzi come to her and apologize to her. Yuvi is sitting apart from the tree as usual, she doesn't pay any attention to them. Yuzi hugs Yuko to comfort her, Yuko whispers a secret into Yuzi's ear, then Yuko approaches them too. Yuko gently confides in the two girls that she works for a secret agency and that she has been sent here on a mission. She is here for to gather evidence against the gang and to free all the girls from the clutches of this gang get. Yuko tells them not to tell this secret to anyone. Both the girls are surprised to hear his words and a hope wakes up in their hearts that maybe they will be freed from this hell now. Meanwhile, the girls are ordered to line up over the speaker, the three guards rush in, the four girls quickly stand up. Maybe the gang leader gets suspicious of the girls so the guards just bring Yuko to class. They interrogate Yuko, but Yuko does not tell them anything. Then the guards catch Yuko and put her on the table. Yuko asks them why they did this. The guards told Yuko that if she didn't tell the truth about what you three girls were talking about, you would get a big punishment. Yuko still doesn't say anything, then the guard takes the plastic and wraps it over Yuko's face, first on her hands and then on her face. Wrapped in plastic then the guard wraps Yuko. During the wrap, 
Yuko remembers her past, how she was recruited into the secret agency. Actually Yuko slept with a mafia Don. When Don goes to freshen up after sleeping with Yuko, Yuko steals Don's things and money. Yuko steals Don's credit card, money and other important information from Don's wallet. Takes it, and she gives it to her partner. While she gives all the things to her partner and talks to him, someone stabs Yuko's partner from behind, killing him. Yuko is horrified. She starts running from there, and runs away and hides somewhere. Yuko faints due to mental stress. When Yuko regains consciousness, she is at the headquarters of the Secret Service Agency. The agency chief approaches Yuko and convinces her to join the agency. A police detective is also present in this office along with the chief. Yuko asks them for time to think. Yuko joins the agency after thinking about it. All these things Yoko does secretly from the camera to her three classmates, Yoko is trained after joining the agency. They give Yoko physical training, teach her how to cheat, operate a computer and hack any account. Teaches her to hide things in your mouth and also makes Yoko a complete train by teaching her more tricks. The chief shows Yuko a photo of a girl that Yuko has to find. Yuko tells her friends everything about her mission, how she joined the agency and what she has to do now. At the agency, Yuko is introduced to a girl on a wheelchair, Miho, who is the only girl to escape the gang's clutches. While imprisoned in the gang, Miho is number 44. When the girls beat, no buyer bought Miho, then Miho was managed to get out of there by Agent Yamamoto. But unfortunately, Miho and Agent Yamamoto were captured by the gang Ogain, and in a fight Miho was electrocuted by an electric rod, which rendered Miho unconscious. The gang had thought that Miho was dead, and while her body was being brought in a van to dispose of Miho's body, the agency people attacked the van and rescued Miho from them. Then they treated Miho, but Miho had lost her memory. If you want to see Miho's story, watch our video Missing 44. The video link is given in the description. The chief and the detective try their best to get information about the gang from Miho. But Miho can't remember anything. Yuko also tells her friends that the gang includes a former police detective who has been brainwashed and is now the leader of the gang. When Miho is shown a picture of the leader of the gang, Miho doesn't even recognize him. Then Yuko takes Miho away. Yuko tells all these things secretly to the girls. She wants to make a plan to escape from this prison. Yuka tells her that it is almost impossible to escape from here because these girls don't know the way out. And there are armed guards and the girls are being monitored by cameras. But Yuko remains optimistic. She asks UV to accompany her, but UV is too scared of these people. She hesitates to cooperate. Meanwhile, the chief of the agency asks the detective about Yuko's progress, and the detective tells him that there is no message from Yuko yet. They both worry about Yuko and that she might not get a chance. There is hope in the detective. Yuvi is sitting on her bed reading a book when Yuko comes to her and asks her to join him. But Yuvi fears that if she gets caught, she doesn't know what will happen to her. Yuko was finding it very difficult not to support Yuvi. Yuko had to convince Yuvi somehow.
this time only UV and UZ were in the class, and both of them gave correct answers to all the questions that were asked in the class while the professor is leaving. He tells the two girls that now the lady guard will give them both a special kind of training. The guards untie the two girls and hand their chains to the lady guard and leave on their own. The lady guard takes both girls' chains in her hands and makes them sit very close to each other and then forces them to wrap each other. Both girls forcefully wrap each other. After the wrap, both girls cry in front of Yuka and Yuko in their room and tell them everything. Yuvi then tells Yuko that she is ready to support them, she wants to get out anyway. Then in the morning, all the girls have breakfast. At night, Yuko had given each girl their task, in the morning they had a leisurely breakfast. After which they started their work according to the plan. Yuzi was tasked to steal a scale from the lady guard that she would use to make a duplicate key. Yuzi retrieves a bandage from the lady guard's pocket. Yuka is tasked with finding a way out by trapping the guard in his trap. Yuka seduces a guard and wants to sleep with him in a place where no one can see her on camera. The guard agrees to take Yuka to such a place. A customer comes for a massage, all four girls are there. Actually, this customer is a secret agent who comes to deliver a message to Yoko on behalf of the agency. Yuko has already told all the girls. She tells the girls her whole plan that night that the agency will send an agent there and we have to hide from the camera and get a message from him. The agent will tell us the way out of here. Yuko tells all the girls to be alert. All the girls were treating this agent as if he was a real customer. During the massage, a girl spills lotion on the agent, at which the agent sits up in shock. And he smartly gave things to Yoko. The girls were doing everything in such a smart way that the onikas in the camera did not suspect them. Yuko carefully puts those things into her mouth. All these tasks were done by the girls very smartly. Yuko sits in the washroom and takes the things out of her mouth and reads the message written in them. In the room, Yuko is sitting on top of Yuka for a massage. She explains her task to Yuka and shows a map of the exit, which written on a cheat. Where Miho was taken out after she faints and was presumed dead by the gang. Yuko asks Yuka to take the guard there and find the door that leads out. And also asks Yuka to copy the door key from the guard. Yuka promises Yuko to complete her task well. After a while Yuka comes to the place with the guard, she shows off with the guard, and she runs herself so that the guard catches her, but her goal is to inspect the whole place and find the door. Which was the reason for their freedom? Finally, Yuka opens a door and enters. And as he walks out, the guard catches Yuka suddenly and tells him to look ahead. As Yuka looks ahead, she sees a net of laser lights. The guard tells him that this is the way out of the building and that if anyone tries to escape, the laser will cut them off. Yuka understands and now has to complete her second task and which is to get a copy of the door key from this guard. Yuka has sex with the guard and in the process, she takes the key from the guard's pocket and takes a copy of the key on a bar of soap and hides the bar in her shoe. Thus she completes her task. The gang leader calls UV to his office. She traps UV in her smooth talk. The gang leader tries to win Yuvi's trust, as among the four girls, Yuvi was a bit of nonsense girl. The gang leader asks Yuvi about the lady guard and makes her evil and pretends to be nice in front of Yuvi. Yuvi gets into her words. The gang leader gives Yuvi her special status and tells her to come and tell him anything. 
Yuko makes a key out of the soap given by Yuka. Then the girls start massaging Arikawa. Erika was not only a buyer of girls, but also one of the founders of the gang. He also suspected that the girls were planning to escape. So he was asking UV strange questions. At which all the girls were a little worried. The gang leader calls UV back to her office, she asks him about Arikawa. She then asks UV about Yuko's plan. Yuvi tells the gang leader Yuko's whole plan. Yuvi had no idea what he had done. The gang leader calls Yuko to the office, the guard brings her to the office, the gang leader questions Yuko, but Yuko doesn't tell her anything. Meanwhile, at the prison, Yuka and Yuzi fight Yuvi. The gang leader approaches them and tells the guards to be careful. Here Yuko gets a chance and takes out a small memory card from her mouth and inserts it into the gang leader's laptop and hacks his laptop, copying all the data and records to the memory card. The gang leader goes to the girls in the prison and asks why they are fighting. But Yuka scoffs at her, to which the gang leader slaps her and walks away with a warning. Meanwhile, Yuka copies the entire record to the memory card and then puts it in her mouth. The gang leader also brings the guards to the office upon his return, an injection in hand. The guards come in and arrest Yuko. The gang leader injects Yuko, rendering her unconscious. Yoko is unable to stand properly while searching for the girls at night. The guard captures her and tells the gang leader to punish Yuko. The gang leader forbids the guards and tells them to come back. Then the guards go back, but Yuko doesn't feel well. Late at night the girls wait for the camera to go off. As the camera goes off the girls leave. The girls say to Yuko, that you are not feeling well today, they will plan to escape on another day. But Yuko tells them that there will be no such chance again, they have become suspicious of us, it is dangerous to go back now. And the people of the agency outside are standing up for us. Then they wait for the camera on the stairs to turn off. The gang leader keeps an eye on them in the office. The camera closes and all the girls come down the stairs and open the door they made the key to. Then from there they run towards the main door. After opening the main door, they reach the place with the same laser net. Freedom awaited them across the lasers. This was the last stage, across the laser. Freedom awaits all these girls. The agency people are standing outside, can now see the four girls on the computer radar, they are all waiting for the girls to escape. Meanwhile the girls wait for the laser to go off, the laser goes off and the girls start running outside. But suddenly a guard appears in front of them. All the girls scream, then as they start to go back, a guard comes from behind. All the girls get stuck at the exact spot where the lasers turn on. And the lasers turn on, Yuko walks across and is caught by a guard. The guard puts his hand in Yuko's mouth and pulls out the memory card. Then the gang leader reaches there along with other guards. The gang leader laughs at the girls and tells them that she was aware of their escape plan. And it was Yuvi who told them their plan. If Yuvi hadn't told them, they wouldn't have known. Hearing this, Yuka and Yuzi fight with Yuvi. In the commotion, 
Yuko pulls a nail out of her shoe and stabs it in her arm, causing her to bleed, making the girl less visible on the agency's computer radar. Then the agents realize that the girl's in the trouble, they go there to rescue. The detective comes and shoots the guard who was holding Yuko. Then the agents and the gangsters come face to face. The detective recognizes the gang leader who was in police and the detective was her partner. Even the gang leader recognizes him. The detective tells Het to surrender, but the gang leader starts firing at him. One bullet hitting the detective in the arm. The agents manage to get away with Yuko. The guards want to chase them, but the gang leader stops them. The agency people get back in the car. Yuko takes the memory card out of her mouth and gives it to the detective. This card contains all the information of this gang. But now Yuko had another mission to fulfill, that of helping her friends. To free these three girls from the clutches of this gang. Yuko is determined that she will free Yuka, UZ and UV. So friends, if you like the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. To watch the second part of the movie, be sure to press the bell button, so that the video notification reaches you first. So see you in the second part of the video. Until then, goodbye take care.